Silent Green is people! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 fast food rumors that turned out to be true. Well, what do you want? Mr. Mate. There's no mystery. For this list, we'll be looking at crazy facts about the fast food industry. Is there a fast food chain that you've given up on? Let us know who lost your business in the comments. Number 10, not so excellent. What came first, the chicken or the egg sandwich? It's irrelevant. Causality. It? Stupid. The chicken, obviously. Oh, well, where did the chicken come from? Well, it came from the... Uh. Well, this treat is a staple on most fast food menus, the eggs used in these meals can be more processed than you'd like to imagine. Rumors have claimed that McDonald uses fake eggs in their sandwiches, but this is untrue. We crack so many eggs every single day that our crew members have become real experts at it. They use real eggs, along with preservatives, which used to be prepared in liquid margarine until the company switched to butter. But some companies do add various other hard-to-pronounce ingredients. For example, the egg omelet at Subway includes a premium egg blend that contains propylene glycol, a liquid used in antifreeze that's common in packaged foods. If you just want egg in your eggs, you're better off preparing them at home. Is this all the eggs we have? Yes. What are you making? Eggs. Number 9. I'm melting. Legend has it that if you leave Chicken McNuggets out for too long, they won't just warm up, they'll completely melt into a puddle. I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world, what a world! Who would have thought a good little girl like you could destroy my beautiful wickedness? We can't confirm this for ourselves, but there is a possible explanation for this claim. McDonald's nuggets are breaded white chicken meat, along with some other ingredients, which we'll get into later. I know what the secret ingredient is. Love. But what's important for this entry is that, according to Eat This, Not That, many of the ingredients are water-based binding agents, which could apparently cause the nuggets to break down when left out in the elements. Does anyone want to grab a spoon? Land? Why do you think they call these things McNuggets? Number 8. Suspect Salads. If you're at the drive through line and think you're making a good choice by choosing a salad, you're certainly not alone. I ordered you the spinach salad. I hope that's okay. <laughs> However, that salad may be just as unhealthy as a cheeseburger and fries. It sounds impossible, but hear us out. I'm listening. If you take a close look at the calorie count on the various salads from popular fast food restaurants, especially if you're adding creamy dressings and crispy chicken, it may really shock you. <laughs> Not to mention the intense amounts of sodium that these meals can have in them. Number 7. Expired meat. Sure, selling expired meat isn't the norm, but this case still freaks us out. Ugh, oh, what's that smell? It's either bad meat or good cheese. In 2014, local reporters caught workers at a factory in Shanghai, China, repackaging expired beef and chicken. Some of the meat was a year past its expiration date. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's rotten! Reporters also filmed workers throwing food that had fallen on the floor into processing machines. The supplier provided meat to McDonald's, KFC, and Pizza Hut in China. A Chinese court issued millions in fines and sentenced 10 employees to jail time. Factory owner OSI Group, an American company based in Aurora, Illinois, declared the verdict unjust. Maybe they were just hangry. Care for some expired meat? Bowls clenching. Not much time. Must finish. Number six, calorie mayhem. Calories aren't bad. A calorie is a unit of energy and you need energy to live. Did you know that the food you eat becomes energy? Yeah. Boom, that's spaghetti. Nachos. The cookie. All foods have calories. In fact, that's kind of what makes it food. However, eating not enough or too many calories can be unhealthy. How many calories will go into your body when you consume this particular product? A 2013 study from Harvard Medical School found that participants underestimated the calorie content of fast food. Depending on various factors, most people require between 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day. Some fast food meals, especially trios, actually contain over 2,000 calories. You know how many calories are in one of those shrimps? A lot. As of 2018, major fast food chains in the U.S. have to list calories on menus. It's a good idea to pay attention to them. Number 5. So many additives. Processed foods might be convenient, but are often loaded with salt, sugar, preservatives, and additives. New research shows that highly processed foods can be as addictive 
as smoking and alcohol. Just mm. think about that. We already mentioned propylene glycol, but the additives certainly don't end there. Over 10,000 additives are allowed in the United States. Some are banned overseas. For example, potassium bromate, which is used as a flower improver, has been linked in animal studies to cancerous tumors and is banned in Canada, the UK, and EU. It's not just potassium bromate, but many other chemicals and substances that are banned here in Europe over health concerns, but considered safe by the FDA. Another common additive is TBHQ, used to prevent spoilage in oils and fats. Some studies have found that very high doses are carcinogenic, although other studies have concluded the opposite. The chemical used to extend shelf life is found in hundreds of processed foods. When it comes to additives, one fast food treat isn't going to kill you, but there are lots of reasons not to recommend overconsumption. Number four, horse meat scandal. If you say nay to eating horse meat, well, it may already be too late, especially if you've eaten at Taco Bell's in the UK. You wanna do something fun? <sighs> You want to go to Taco Bell? In 2013, Scandal rocked Europe's food industry as investigations discovered horse meat in various beef products. In some cases, horse meat made up only a small percentage of the product, but in others, it made up 100%. They feed us horse meat with traces of jockey meat! In Taco Bell's case, the Scandal only affected three outlets in Britain. Taco Bell quickly apologized and stopped selling ground beef from that supplier. Apparently, the product never hit the United States chains, so American eaters, you seem to be in the clear. I would like you to accompany me to Taco Bell. Number three, the number of ingredients in Chicken McNuggets. Are Chicken McNuggets made out of gross pink slime? No, they are not. Sorry, McDonald's truthers. The main ingredient is white boneless chicken. This pink goop? A photograph that has snaked around the internet with the caption, can you guess what McDonald's food item this is? In 2016, McDonald's removed artificial preservatives from the cooking oil used for McNuggets. Until then, listed ingredients had included the additives, dimethyl polysiloxane, an anti-foaming agent, and TBHQ, which you mentioned earlier in the list. Starting with whole chickens, the breast meat is set aside to make McNuggets. McNuggets do, however, contain many other ingredients, around 40. Science experts told CNN that McDonald's seems to be giving the straight scoop. Though, of course, there's nothing healthy about all the fat and salt in McNuggets. A lot of this comes from the batter, which includes various leavening agents. Number two, non-vegetarian fries. Who knew potatoes weren't vegetarian? Well, they are, but not when you deep fry them in beef fat. Vegans and vegetarians might assume that deep fried potatoes are a safe pick, but if you're noshing out of McDonald's in the States, that's not the case. This is exactly what McDonald's was blamed for doing in the US and Canada. In 1990, they had announced that they were switching from beef fat to vegetable oil, but continued to use beef for flavoring purposes. Well, that's whether this seemingly nondescript ingredient contains any beef. Beef has always been key to the distinctive flavor of McDonald's fries. In the early 2000s, several vegetarians and Hindus, who don't eat beef for religious reasons, filed a lawsuit against the fast food company. Meanwhile, in early May, Harish Bharti, a Hindu lawyer from Seattle, launched a class action lawsuit against McDonald's, quipping this, they say billions and billions served. I say billions and billions deceived. McDonald's apologized and ended up settling the lawsuit, donating $10 million to vegetarian and religious groups. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, burger longevity. Do McDonald's burgers never rot? This rumor has been swirling around for quite some time after folks noticed their abandoned meals held up suspiciously well. So we have a question from Mark H. from Saskatoon. He wants to know, why do your burgers not rot? The reason that this phenomenon occurs doesn't have anything to do with chemicals used in the cooking process, but is instead due to the burger's preparation as well as the heat conditions of where it's left out. By the time the burger is served, it is already pretty dry because of all the toasting and steaming. So during the cooking process, the beef lost 40% in water weight and an additional 30% after a few weeks' time. So that's 70% water loss. So if you keep it in the open for a long time, it will continue to dry and harden instead of growing any mold. The more you know. Why not get a hamburger, put it into a plastic bag with the moisture is retained, and sure enough, they'll spoil. So Mark, I hope that's answered your question, and thanks for asking it. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.